I own this car, this car, this car, that car, and this house. And yet, some people like to say I don't. So what's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Ooh, orders from Saturdays.com. We gotta drop those off. Now a lot of people ask what I do to afford the things that I have, especially now since I am planning on getting a Lamborghini in November. So today, I'm gonna share with you everything. Now to save you the hassle of skipping all the way to the end of this video to find out what it is exactly I do, I'm just going to tell you. It's this. Now I also serve at a high-end restaurant, but as of lately, I actually cut my hours in half because of how well this is doing. All right, hold up. We're at the post office. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Now, if you're still here, there's more I gotta tell you because only one of these cars I was able to purchase from solely social media income. Now, before we get into all the cars and how I bought them, I gotta go all the way back to the beginning. I grew up in a middle class family, actually below middle class. My mom was my teacher for homeschool and she helped my dad with his business and my dad worked two jobs. When I was nine, my parents got divorced and that kind of gives you a backstory on my family life. It wasn't the greatest, which means the minute I could get a job, I did. I didn't just get one. Now the first three jobs I grabbed were working at a theme park, I was working at a moving company, and I also was delivering pizzas. Now the reason I instantly went to three jobs, one, I gotta thank my parents for this, they actually instilled really good work ethic into me. I always had to do chores, I always had to do certain things that trained my mind into thinking that working is good and working can be fun. But then there were two other things that I gotta thank my parents for that made me want to work hard. One was, I didn't wanna be home. If I was working and gone all day, I wasn't home dealing with the stress of what was happening in the family. And number two is my family always argued about money. And I knew that if I worked really hard and always had money, I would never have to worry about it. So then after a while of working a lot and saving up a ton of money and not having anything to do with it, I decided to buy my first car, an Audi A6. And when I got that car, I realized I need to make more money because cars are fun and I want nicer ones. So I dropped my lowest paying job, the one that I was doing at the theme park, and picked up serving. Ran with those three jobs for a while, and then eventually picked up a new car after selling my A6, an Audi S4. And then that's where this came in. I started making videos around cars. Now yes, before that I was making videos, just funny videos, and that was great and all, but I didn't really enjoy it as much as doing it around my passion, which has always been cars. Now the funny, relatable videos that I was making before cars got me up to around 100K on TikTok and not really much on any other platform. So when I started making videos around cars, they didn't do as well because it was completely different from what I used to be doing. But then eventually it started to gain traction. Also, for the sake of the time frame, at this point, I was in my second year of junior college. So I was doing school, three jobs, and making videos. But now, let's go ahead and hop into the Supra. Now, this car looks absolutely ridiculous, but it sounds ridiculous because we have that intake. But we do gotta take this off because this will fly off. This car sounds ridiculous. <laughs> now the main reason I went to college was because I got a scholarship for track. So I couldn't even afford college, so the only way I could get into college was to get a scholarship. So that is what I did. And during my second year of college, I realized school is not for me and that making videos was what I found enjoyable the most and what I wanted to build a business on because I saw a lot of other people my age being successful at it. So shortly after dropping out of college, I worked more than ever because I knew that only having my Audi S4 at the time was not enough to cut it for videos because when you're making videos, you're starting to compete with people with a lot more cooler cars and a lot more money to play with. So I knew that I needed a new car, and that was my BMW M4, the gray one. Now to get that car, the jobs that I had would not cut it. So what I ended up doing was I quit one of my serving jobs and used the 
experience from that to get a better serving job and then use the experience from that job to then get in the high-end serving, which is what makes the bigger bucks. So in that stage of the game, I was doing high-end serving. I was still working at the moving company and I still kept one of the serving jobs and just kind of didn't really work there a lot. After saving up a lot of money over a year, I bought my gray M4 on loan, not in cash, but I did have my S4 in cash at that point. And then after six months of making videos on that car, because I knew that making videos on that car would help my social media, which is the only reason why I bought it, aside from my wanting an M4, I found my yellow M4 that we were just in for 20 grand. So how did I buy that car for 20 grand if I just bought my gray M4? Well, I don't spend money. I spend the bare minimum on food and the rest of it goes towards my cars and living expenses. I learned really quick earlier on in life that partying is a waste of time, that spending money on shoes is a waste of money because if you can still wear them and they look somewhat presentable, you're fine. Clothes, I didn't spend money on clothes because luckily I haven't grown much since high school. So I bought my yellow M4 in cash. I did drain my bank account a lot. I think I drained it down to eight grand. And then I realized I didn't want my gray M4 anymore or my S4, I want a Corvette. So I sold the S4, didn't sell the M4 yet and bought my blue Corvette that we're about to ride in. So now at this point, I was only working two jobs, social media and serving at a high-end restaurant. Now, how did I afford my yellow M4 and the Corvette and all my living expenses by making less than $1,000 a month from social media and serving? Well, here's where the truth comes out. And this is how I was able to comfortably afford all of my cars. High-end restaurant serving. I know that's hard for a lot of people to understand, but serving is not serving at a Denny's. You gotta think about it this way. You're serving high-end food, high-end wine, high-end alcohol. The average person in that restaurant is mainly spending $100 or more. So let's say for easy numbers that you serve 10 tables in a night, two people per table and $100 per person. An average tip of 20%, that is $40 per table and $400 in that night. Pair that $400 with working five to six nights a week. And yeah, that's how I got the cars. And also how I bought my house. Now, let's talk about something that I haven't shared with anyone, and that is the help that I did get from my parents. So, let's start with the help from my dad. When my parents got divorced, my mom instantly got custody of my brother and I. And when that happened, we were in a rough place because she would not let us do much, and she would not let us really have friends or anything like that. So then my dad came along, got custody of us, and pretty much saved us and introduced us to public school where I actually became a normal kid. And then he also hooked me up by letting me live with him. Granted, he doesn't make a lot of money either, but being able to live with him and split rent uh, was a great thing. And then there's also one more thing. He actually introduced me to serving when he got custody of us and after a few years he created his own restaurant and the restaurant did go into the ground but i was one of the servers in that restaurant i didn't get extra pay but i did get hired and usually in the restaurant industry you start off as a busser and i never did that i was just a server and always have been so that's what my dad did for me as for my mom and this is something I haven't shared with anybody on social media. When she passed away around nine months ago, there was a settlement on the house and everything else that was in that house. And it wasn't much because she had a lot of legal fees that she never paid the lawyers when they divorced. But after splitting all the money four ways, my two sisters, my younger brother and I, I got $7,000 about it's like 7400 or something like that so as far as help being completely transparent that's everything now let's go back home get the corvette and talk about present day everything i do as far as social media work and how I am planning on getting a Lambo with that money. Here we go, my childhood 
dream car. My C6 Z06. The carbon fiber roof that we put on yesterday. <laughs> She sounds so good. Now over the last year, I've grown a lot because I have focused a lot on social media and serving and making money. In the last year, I have grown over 500,000 followers on Instagram, 289,000 subscribers on YouTube, and over 500,000 followers on TikTok. And of course, with that growth, comes more income from social media. Now I'm sorry to interrupt today's video, but we gotta thank today's sponsor, SenCal Motorsport. Now you guys know I love SenCal Motorsport and I have so many parts on this car from them and on the Supra. So today we have titanium charge pipes to match the titanium intakes that we put on this car a little over two months ago. All right, my engine bay is kind of taken apart right now. You can see my tiny little turbos down there, but this is what we're really focusing on. Look at the difference. Senkow Motorsport Titanium versus my old gray charge pipes. This is gonna look beautiful. Three, two, one. Check it out. Titanium overload. We got the bolts now, we got the intakes, and now we have the charge pipes to match. Now, if you want these charge pipes for your car, or if you want anything for your BMW or Supra, go ahead and check out Sencom Motorsports. And use code Jake Schnatter, and you'll get 5% off your order. But now, let's go ahead and get back into the video. So currently, as it stands right now, I am working at the restaurant maximum of three days a week. And if I'm not working at the restaurants, I am making videos. Now, it's not as simple as just making videos. I make money from a lot of different avenues. For starters, I make money from ad revenue from YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And then, adding on to that, I make money from my merch. But I don't really make money because all the money I make from my merch goes right back into new designs and new drops. So merch, I don't really count that as making money right now. And then I also make money from affiliates. So there are certain parts where I have certain discount codes where if you buy that part with my 10% off, 15% off, 5% off, I might get a kickback on that part. Now, there are certain places that have my discount code that I don't make any money off of, and there are certain ones that I do. So I make a few hundred bucks here and there from that. And then also the big one is sponsorships. There are companies that will pay me to put mid-roll ads in YouTube videos or companies that will pay me to make a video on my TikTok page or my Instagram page. And I would say that income stream probably accounts for 30% of my income every month from social media. Now, a lot of people will wave this job off as easy. It's not. You only see the good stuff. You only see the fun stuff. You don't see the hours of editing that I do, the hours of thinking of new ideas, the hours in travel and driving, and all the money I spent. Because yes, I make a good amount of money from social media, but 90% of that money goes back into social media. So say for example, I made 100 grand this year, I'm really only bringing home 10 grand to pay for all my food and all my living expenses. So that is why I'm planning on getting a Lambo. All my money goes back into the business and as I sit right now, I'm starting to make more money than I'm spending. So I figured I might as well make the big leap and buy something crazy. I know that when I get that car, it is going to benefit the channel and benefit me, but I also know it's a huge risk. But like I said, I am not scared to spend every single penny I make from social media back into the business. And that is what I plan to do with getting a Lambo. Because trust me, I can't afford to buy a Lambo in cash and make one video a month. I really gotta grind. <laughs> All right, so I think that answers a lot of questions on how I got to this point, what I've done, and what I do now. If you have any more questions, definitely drop a comment down below and I can answer it real quick. And if I can't answer it real quick, I'll probably just make a video on it on either TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook. But, the one thing I will tell a lot of people that are seeking advice on growing, either that is social media, whether that is a business, whether it's just life, find what you're passionate about and take a risk. But don't just take a risk, take a calculated risk. 
I took a risk on social media and making videos, but it was calculated. I still worked three jobs. I spent every waking hour working on videos or working. And that's what you gotta do. A lot of people will say, oh, you don't wanna work every minute of your life. You're just gonna be wasting time. Enjoy your younger years. I'm enjoying my younger years doing this. Work hard and you will enjoy your life. You just gotta work hard at something that you're passionate about. Because I would much rather work three jobs and build the one job that I am most passionate about and that will I work that job, it feels like I'm not working a single second than working one job for someone else, building someone else's business and having free time, having paid vacations and not being able to control my life. And there are some days where I see people that comment and downplay everything that I do and say that I didn't earn it, say that there's no way that this is possible to have all this stuff at 23 years old. Well, I'm telling you, it is. And if you're not one of those naive people that just comment that stuff because they can't justify their own life, listen to what I am saying and work hard and find what you are passionate about and go for it. But with all that being said, I think it's gonna be the end of today's video. Thank you so much to every one of you guys that watches my videos and supports everything I do and that helps me build this business. I know that I've worked hard and that I make a lot of videos, but it means absolutely nothing if nobody watches them and supports them and enjoys them. So thank you. And if there are videos that you wanna see, drop a comment down below what you wanna see and then I will try and incorporate that in the future because believe it or not, I read all the comments and I take a lot of your suggestions to heart and try and make a video out of a good chunk of them. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell and I will see you next time. And mark my words, I'm gonna work extra hard to get that Lambo in November. Drive safe.